we really want to focus on the experience for the players and the teams and the, and the coaches and the fans coming in. And I think when we talk about this progress for this week, I, I think each day we've been seeing more progress, go, all going towards that experience. On Thursday, we had the hotels, uh, the windows and the doors in the hotels were wrapped with different uh, cling, window clings of, of tournament, the teams and the logos uh, to kind of make them feel at home at the hotels. We also got t-shirts done for all the hotel staff, so they're feeling welcome and they feel appreciated when they come in. Uh, we've been having just, just all types of different things. We had all the stuff in the fourth center, uh, in the lobby, we had the window clings put up over there, as well as the scoreboards being done on NCAA. So, and we're getting police escorts for all the games, for all the teams, which is something that they are really excited about. We're really trying to go above and beyond the Call of Duty to create that championship experience for the teams when they come in, so they know how much we appreciate the event. Well, when the NCAA comes in, you know they want to make sure they're taking care of their corporate partners, which they should. And so we've had to uh, redo some of the scoreboards. We've got NCAA logos and. and you know, the event tournament logo on the scoreboards and all the panels. We've got the floor, it's got the, the, the logo on there, which looks fantastic. It says Evansville, Indiana on it. Uh, we've got different uh, different things. They're putting up banners uh, from all the previous champions on the hockey net, so those are going to hang in both end zones. So anything that we can do, we've wrapped the columns in the lobby with uh, logo gear, and then we've got window clings of each team on the lobby as well. So really trying to create that special atmosphere for the teams and players when they come in, and the NCAA does a great job of that. So.